getting ready to do a bonus for oh my cards my cards my cards for taurus taurus in the building taurus is in the building calling the bull gang calling the bull gang calling the bull gang baby july 16 2020 let's see what's happening with our tauruses out there uh in the la la land i'm at a doctor's appointment waiting on my mom to come out and they had to scream me so i got my little mask out here but i'm getting fresh air so i don't need it today but i had got this one i picked it up ain't it cute y'all it's just so cute but anywho they had to scream you take your temperature they not letting no damn body up in that bitch they like uh-uh let me check your temperature i ain't got no fucking covid motherfucker i know what the fuck wrong with me hell you ain't finna tell me something wrong with me. But anyway, that's what they had to do before your ass get in there. They had to screen your ass, ask you 50 million questions. It, it was worse than a goddamn Ebola shit. Like, they really literally got a piece of paper out. They want you to fucking circle yes or no to some questions. And then give you this to let them know they done, they done screened your ass. Well, they done asked you them questions. Y'all know I'm a nurse in the health field. But see, that's why I'm nursing from... A spiritual standpoint herbals <laughs> that's why i'm in the herbal industry you know uh 24 years of nursing i'm i'm retiring that I'm, I'm i'm in retirement i'm like passing through into that retirement phase you know because we need to we need to re really be about our health about our overall health internally and fix these uh fix these um hidden issues mental health issues and imbalances and and uh the toxicity that we carry around because we're not expressing ourselves and we're not healing internally um and we're not healing internally and so you know it's all coming to a head now with covid or rona girl as i call rona girl out on the loose got everybody you know freaking out and if you're toxic in the inside and you're not detoxing you're not taking herbals and you're not you know getting your sun and you're not getting your air and your breath um, um, those masks are only gonna amplify probably what's already inside of you because of the fear and feeling claustrophobic some of y'all probably claustrophobic anyway don't like to be pinned down in tight spaces and stuff like that um and nor and, and naturally nobody do not everybody's claustrophobic i mean i'm a nurse i'm not really claustrophobic i don't like tight spaces but i don't like wearing a damn mask either but in texas we got to wear them out in public when we go in places and that's you know i'm not starving for nobody if I got to run in there and get something, I'm running that motherfucker get something and bring my mask and half time, I don't even have the motherfucker on. I just have it like down here sometimes. You know, I just have it like this, like that and still getting my air or I might do this number here, you know, because I'm not finna, I'm not finna, I can breathe, goddamn it. I can breathe, breathe just fine. My lungs is good. I take my garlic and honey. I've been told y'all about that. My, my, you know, I don't know what to tell y'all if y'all ain't taking care of yourself detoxing i don't know what to tell you i really don't you breathing in your own toxins yes but if you detox like i do on a regular basis you shouldn't have nothing too toxic to breathe back in <laughs> oh, but if you eating all kind of shit of course you probably gonna be freaking out right about now because you like fuck my insides is fucked up let me just stay at home okay stay at home ain't no big deal you know, I stay at home any damn way. You know, but it is what it is. This is Taurus reading. I'm going to do a bonus, y'all. Make sure y'all check for your rising sun, moon, and Venus. I'm going to get those out the 16th through the 31st uh, between today and tomorrow for the rest of the Zodiacs. I only did two. I think it was Pisces and Taurus. I got the rest of them coming today or to by tomorrow. They'll be on my, on my YouTube channel, Comedic Arts Yoga and Reiki Tarot. Go to it, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell button down there in that corner, you know, so you can get those uploads, those downloads as I upload the, uh, what the spirit, what does say the spirit of energy.
energy is spirit. Spirit is energy. We just call it different names. Um, so that you can have more understanding of what the law of energy is. Okay? Some call it law of attraction. Some call it law of vibration. Uh, it's the law of energy. Pure energy. Okay? And you got to understand energy to really understand uh, the planets, the alignments, the what's around you, what's taking place, being in alignment with what you feel in those planets, knowing where you are at any any given time, okay, by just being in tune with your own body. Your body is a map. It's a map of the stars. So it can tell you what's going on with your planets if you pay attention, if you know how to pay attention and tune in, okay? Uh, but yeah... We got to wear them out in public or you're supposed to get a fine or something, but it's it's a misdemeanor. You can dispute it like a traffic ticket. They say it's whatever. I ain't giving a motherfucker a dime if I can help it. A dime. Ain't even finna play like that. It ain't that damn serious. If you know, you know yourself and you trust your creator and you know who you are, that shit don't even matter. It don't even matter. People just talking, they ain't doing shit. They've been sitting in the house since fucking February and ain't done shit. But run their goddamn out. Ain't worked on no goals, ain't worked on no game plan, ain't done shit but run their mouth and, and debate and keep distractions up. And distractions are really good when you know what to do with them distractions. Y'all know that, right? Energy, baby. Energy. Even a distraction is healthy for you sometimes. <laughs> Depends on how you see the distraction. I'm so glad we out of retrograde, y'all. I don't know what the fuck to do. Let's see what Taurus is up to, though. Spirit Source Energy, July 16, 2020. Taurus, Moon, Rising Sun, Venus, uh, Cuspers like myself, Taurus, Aries. Right? Cross watchers may be watching. That's fine. Y'all know what to do. Flip the script, baby. Flip the script. It's Thomas. Bugs everywhere. Ugh. And so when you get this, if it's meant for you, it's meant for you, okay? If it resonate, it resonate. If it don't, leave it on the eye. I didn't bring my mat. I should have brought my mat. Let's see what's going on with you Tauruses out there. Y'all don't pay no attention to them distractions. Do what your intuition tell you. You know how you feel on any given day. And if anything, you better listen to your damn intuition when it come down to it. On any, on any given day, you better listen to your intuition. Because it's there for a reason. I call it the innate GPS, baby. Look at there. Coming out the gate already. What we got here? Oh, Tauruses. Oh, my Tauruses. Let's see what we got. Angel over me. Wow. Some of you guys. Oh, my gosh. Y'all got guardian angels already out the gate watching y'all, Tauruses. Protection card. Angel wings surround you. Trust. Replace fear with love. You are eternally held, safe within the arms of an angel. Oh, Tauruses. Look at that bonus card for y'all. Two more. Infinity. Whoa. 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 That's beautiful. Dearest one, rest within the light of your soul. Feel my spirit alive within you, the spirit of the goddess of nature of earth of stars except the love and light we shower upon you and didn't i just say that i just said that just literally said that and the card comes out infinity you got to know yourself you got to know what you're connected to you got to know follow that innate gps baby infinity angel over me and in infinity and this one is inspiration Woo! Love, your love, light, and wisdom touch the hearts and minds of many. You will be instrumental in helping another person change the course of their life. Miracles, inspiration, and healing results. So whatever you're doing out there, Tauruses, rising sun, moon, Venus, cross watcher, cuspers, whoever, you're doing a very powerful work. Inspirational. Wow. 
Wow, very intuitive work. Inspiring others. It's not easy to inspire others. It's not easy. It's not easy. You know, inspiring others, as we know. It's not easy. You put that down there. Let's see what zodiac you got energy around you, planets. Spirit source energy, Taurus bonus. What's going on with our Tauruses out here? What would you like them to know about today, July the 16th, 2020? Bonus for Taurus. Bonus for Taurus. Spirit source energy, bonus for Taurus. What's going on with our Tauruses? What's going on with Tauruses? What do you need Tauruses out there to know spirit source energy? That one's trying to come out. The moon. Your unconscious, sensitive, inner emotions and responses. Moon energy, reflection, mirroring, illusion right spirit source energy what else Ooh. virgo earth energy right virgo You're, the energy around you is dutiful hesitant and humble with a discriminating diligent and painstaking air okay moon energy reflective going within what else spirit source energy one more card for our tauruses out there our Terranians, our bull gang. What's going on with y'all? Spirit source. Oh, oh, dang. Well, dang. Three of them fail. We got Mars. We got the ninth house. And we got the second house. Taurus showing up. All right, Taurus. Look at y'all. Mars. Okay. Your physical energy, drive, strength, and fighting spirit. Y'all are like go-getters. Y'all are going after what y'all want. And the ninth house, which is Sagittarius, right? Yeah, Sagittarius, the ninth house showing up, right? Broadening your horizon, either spiritually, academically, or on a long journey. Look at the Buddhas. Look at the Buddhas. Mental exploration, the house of, of, of Sagittarius, ninth house. Second house, Taurus, you showed up. For your own house and that is about your money your finance your assets the things that you value taurus so some of you tauruses <laughs> this is funny <laughs> some of you tauruses could have mars in your chart virgo in your chart your moon energy would be pisces right you could have sagittarius in your chart rising sun moon venus uh, your second house, you can have Taurus in your chart. If you're not born, of course, you're a Taurus. You're born somewhere under the moon, the sun, or the uh, cusp, or the uh, rising, ascendant, right? To Taurus. Some of you guys are about intuition, moon, ex you know, exploration, intuitive. Oh, that bug. I knew that bug was going to get on me. Yeah. Uh, that, um, some of you guys are i'm making sure my mom ain't coming out and she's at a doctor's appointment and so some of you guys are tuning in spiritually uh emotions could be high virgo is about your health you're you're more holistic like i was saying in the beginning with wearing the mask y'all are very health conscious moving into that virgo energy because virgo rules the health and diet i don't like the word diet but eating habits okay with what you're eating and stuff like that um taking into consideration your health some of y'all are um being more proactive about your health uh fighting for what you want and not giving up with what you want you're about financial stability, Taurus energy. You're about your finances, Sagittarius. You're about travel. You're about uh, mental exploration, going deeper, right? Deeper conversation, deeper uh, sense of, of, of deepness within you that there's more than this physical, right? 
you're really getting to know and understand your understand your mindset okay inner understanding how you think how you feel and putting that all and putting that all you know, putting that all in relationship to each other okay let's see what the reading says spirit source energy what do you have for Taurus what does Taurus need to know for their bonus what does Taurus need to know oh ace of wand y'all coming out with a new beginning a new action already dang spirit source energy Taurus bonus oh lovers crossing over the ace of wands baby Y'all want y'all soulmate. Y'all are off to a new start with your soulmate. That's what's crossing you. Spirit source energy, what else do you have for our Taurus bonus? Some of y'all, ooh, about to be off to a new beginning with a hat, a hot, passionate commitment. Lovers, ooh, twins, soulmates. Wow. Spirit source energy, what else? Four of chalice, baby. Four of chalice. Like, y'all see this, this, um, as it's in reverse there's a balance there's a message there's some communication that you've received possibly already that has been emotionally uh satisfying okay you're you're feeling like things are evening out now um There's some communication on an emotional level. Some of y'all may be getting a message in. Four of Cups. There's a message. There's some There's some communication. This little bird or stork or whatever this is. Right there is carrying a message. spirit source energy Ooh, nine of wands pressing through fighting for it aries leo sagittarius Ooh. pisces cancer scorpio fly spirit source energy what else for taurus bonus what else spirit source energy what else for taurus bonus swords leaving that nine of swords energy self-sabotage oh two nines Ooh. nine king of swords energy knight of swords energy y'all all up all up in y'all head ace of swords new beginning ace of swords taurus energy what do you want taurus to know spirit source energy seven of wands eight of wands and seven of pentacles a lot of competition building you've been waiting a long time for a new beginning stuck up in your head wanting to come out of that you know putting an end to that uh staying up all night not getting any sleep nightmares not resting and there's a lot of competition uh a lot of competing again king of swords and this is like sagittarius energy all over again almost but this is the seven pinnacles 
of you waiting and wanting something long-term, commitment, some financial stability, wanting things to be stable, okay? You're willing to wait. You've been waiting a long time, Taurus energy, or you've waited a long time, or you've been waiting a long time. You're standing your ground, Seven of Wands. You're standing your ground, fighting for what you want. You're not giving up, okay, Eight of Wands. Through all this competition and fighting and disagreements, you're not giving up. You know what you want. You know what you want. Nine of Wands. Eight of, eight of Pentacles. Financial stability. Working hard. That's your under all energy. Fixing things. Some of you may be going back to school, taking certification, taking online courses. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Oh. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy here. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo energy here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy here. There's the moon. Pisces, uh, Cancer energy. Cancerian energy, the moon. Being secretive. Some of you guys are being secretive of what you're high, what you're working on, which is why you have people spying and competing because they're trying to find out what you're working on. Because you're not you're not telling anybody. You're very you're in this reflective, you know, uh, inner inner area where you're just you know into your intuition, following your intuition, introspection, right? And you got people coming in wanting to communicate, wanting to be a part of this new action that you're taking. You're very clear, very direct, uh, standing in your truth even. You're like you're not backing down from what you want. You have a nine of wands ending of a long battle pushing forward uh, with communication, with action. Spirit source energy. What is the challenge here for Taurus? What is the challenge for Taurus's bonus? Spirit source energy. What is the challenge for Taurus? What is the challenge for Taurus? Oh, there we go. Hangman and the Four of Swords. You're in this chill mode. Y'all like fucking chilling. Y'all ain't even fucking worried. Y'all know people watching y'all. And y'all like, I'm just gonna hang the fuck out. Look at there. Ace of Pentacle underneath. Reward. Fresh new start. And y'all just chilling. Y'all like, after a long, like, reflective, meditative moon energy hangman delays you know breaking those attachments y'all are working on y'all self is what y'all doing that's why y'all ass so quiet <laughs> y'all are doing that inner damn work look at there doing that inner work hangman breaking loose cutting loose from attachments you know fresh start coming for you Tauruses. fresh new start What is the outcome, Spirit Source Energy? What is the outcome here, Spirit Source Energy? Star card. Sagittarius had this too. Y'all are going to be famous. This reading is similar almost. Star card. Getting your wish fulfillment. Getting your answers. Getting your alignment. Finding that soulmate connection that pours evenly. Because you had lovers up at the top with your overall energy and your ace of wands, a passionate new love, and y'all getting y'all wish fulfillment. You know, some of you guys have admirers. Some of you guys have people watching you from afar, trying to come near you, want to communicate with you, but they can't. You're standing your ground, ace of sword. You're standing your ground, ace of sword. 
Hey, Nisi. We need an Aries update. <laughs> you need an Aries update. <laughs> I'll do that next. Hopefully, Mama won't come out. I'll try to do that after this one. <laughs> she said, we need an Aries update. <laughs> All right. So, y'all are definitely working on something in a reflective work, you know. All right, Spirits. What is the... So, some of you might be like in the public eye, in the community. Uh, you're getting your wish. The stars are aligned. Uh, and you're just hanging out. You're meditating. You're meditating. You're in a peaceful state of just, you know, getting some rest. Relaxation. Let's see what the advice, Spirit, what is the advice for Tauruses? Spirit, what's the advice for Tauruses? That one want to come out. Nave of Sword. Communication coming in. You got some communication coming in, spiritual advice. You might be getting some downloads, uploads, whatever y'all want to call them. And they're saying, write them down. You might be getting new ideas about some things. Write them down. You know, start journaling. Start, uh writing your thoughts down because this is a scribe the knave of pinnacle is someone coming in bringing you a message you could be getting a new message some communication coming in uh, and also telling you to write something down reflection might be telling you to pull out some old notes some old journals I'm hearing some old writings some old writings. Maybe think about publishing some old writings. You know. Paying attention to your thoughts. Let's see what it say. Okay. Pay attention to your thoughts. Spirit Source Energy. What else about the Nave of Swords? Spirit Source Energy. What else about the Nave of Swords? Six of Wands. Victory and success. Woo. Woo. So y'all are on y'all are on a path. Uh oh, Queen of Pentacles, single, abundant, radius. That look like Nefertiti. That look like Nefertiti right there. Some of you guys are looking successful, have or have something successful, a, a successful business. Some of you guys are independent. That's my Oprah card. The the abundance, the fertility, uh, financial ability, uh, financial stability, and the foundation. You're looking attractive. If you're a Taurus man, you're handsome. Okay, it's the energy. You don't even have to be Taurus, but you're in that Taurus energy. You can have Taurus around you or Taurus in your charts, right? Because it's the Queen of Pentacles, and whoever is looking at you and spying on you is seeing, you know, how how delectable, how sexy, how attractive, how handsome that you look doing you, being single, doing what you do, right? You're watching your pinnacles. You've got your eye on the prize, right? You're paying. You're not paying attention to what's going on. You're just focused on building that financial long-term goal, that long-term stability. So you're working on yourself. You're trying to complete something. you got projects you're trying to complete. Queen of Pinnacles. And you're going to have success and victory. But you do got spies, of course. You got people watching. And they're going to watch. It's no big deal. People are going to look. Spirit Source Energy, what else do you have for Taurus? What else should Taurus know, Spirit Source Energy? What else should Taurus know? Y'all got a lot of uh, Sagittarius energy here, too. Ooh. Ooh, there you go, High Priestess. King of Pentacle. There's your match right there. Power couple. What is this? Five of Wands and Eight of Chalice. Yep. Okay. Definitely about you walking away from uh, the Emperor. Wow. Sitting in your power. Taking control and authority over your life. Willpower. Father figure could be uh, someone giving advice, mentoring. Uh have a lot of abundance, have a lot of material assets, a lot of luxury, 
but very practical, very like set in their ways, the emperor. Six of chalice, uh, long term. Uh, we've seen the lover's card, so this is the second soulmate card here. The six of cups being uh, emotionally balanced and stable. Four of wands. Uh, happy home and family and balance and love. Fire energy. Sagittarius, Aries, Leo energy. Having stability. Overall stability here. High priest is very intuitive. You know, wanting somebody long term, wanting a soulmate you can confide in, that you can talk and build with. Look at there. High priestess. Y'all are in manifestation mode. Y'all are following your guide, following your intuition toward uh, a soulmate connection. And y'all are just resting and meditating on it. Because the high priestess show up and that's about balance, moon energy, about inner, inner tuition, inner uh, inspection, sacred, uh, sacred knowledge and truth, okay? Mysterious, knowing the secrets. King of Pentacles. That's like the Stedman of the deck. This is Akhenaten. So we saw Nefertiti and Akhenaten, the Oprah and the Stedman, baby. Financially stable. You're like manifesting a, a, a King of Pentacles or you're coming in taking the power back and, and uh, ruling over with your Nine of Pentacles as a King of Pentacles or as an Emperor. Like you have your own, you have your own uh, empire. Your own independence. You're stable, financially grounded, emotionally balanced with the high priestess energy here. Eight of cups, walking away from things that no longer serve you, that 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 you get a lack of emotional balance from. You're walking away. Y'all of Tarses are giving up that shit that don't fucking serve you, that people coming up with this short end of the stick shit, not fulfilling you emotionally y'all like nope time out for that shit no more we ain't doing that shit no more y'all like fuck it i'm walking away i'm leaving that shit behind five of wands energy conflict spying again aries leo sagittarius energy so yeah y'all are like moving on up knight of pentacles Knight of Pentacles. Some of y'all got a marriage coming in. Got a proposal coming in, Taurus. Oh. Some of y'all have got a proposal coming in. Oh, I got sweat running down my back. The sun is getting to me now. It's on me. Got sweat balls running down my back here sitting on this bench y'all showing up for your own reading Tauruses showing up for your own damn reading huh second house the money house baby the, the abundance and prosperity showing up for your own house Spirit source energy want Tauruses to know. Spirit source energy, anything else you want, you would like Tauruses to know out there. Rising sun, moon, Venus. Spirit source energy, anything else you would like Tauruses to know out there. Where's my card? Hold on. Okay. It wasn't all something was standing up, right? Anything else, spirit source energy, you would like Tarses to know. Spirit source energy, anything else? Any more information? Any other messages, spirit source energy, Taurus need to know? Any more information, Tarses need to know, spirit? Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands, like something is over. Y'all are ready for shit to be put to... Oh, temperance and have patience. Y'all are ending a cycle. 
Y'all are ending a cycle. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy with a with a with a Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Y'all are ending a cycle. And it's saying keep calm, keep stay stay calm, keep the balance in your ego, stay patient. Patience is a virtue. Things that you're ending a karmic lesson or a cycle. Ten is completion. It's about starting, getting ready to start over. So y'all are y'all are at the at the ending. Y'all are wrapping up a cycle. And that's why y'all like chilling. Look at there. And y'all, magician coming in as the magician. Like y'all are in that manifestation stage. You can manifest anything right now. Pay attention to your thoughts. Make sure they're positive. Okay. Y'all can manifest some money too. See that green? <laughs> Y'all, if y'all need to manifest some money, y'all are definitely in line with it right here. Definitely in, in line with it. Manifesting. What else, spirit, source, energy? What else does Taurus need to know? Whoop, yep. Nine of Pentacles, baby. Independence. I told you, financial independence. Y'all are all up in y'all fucking house right now, Taurus. Y'all are all up in your own fucking energy right now. Look at that. Nine, ten, and temperance. Look at there. Sagittarius and Taurus. And that's exactly what came out. Where's the other one? Ninth house. Look at there. That's exactly what fucking came out. Exactly. Y'all are all up in y'all fucking energy. And y'all ain't paying nobody no mind. Y'all worried about y'all own shit. Looking good. Smelling good. Watching out for them snakes. Yeah. People trying to be slick. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all see it all. Y'all ain't fucking missing nothing, goddammit. And what it say? Be be uh gentle as a dove, wise as a motherfucking serpent. Yep. Temperance, Sagittarius, keep calm. Ending up uh, ending up y'all cycle. Y'all hard, you know, a cycle. With uh Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius energy. Ooh. What's the outcome of that, spirit source energy? What's the outcome? Queen of motherfucking wands, baby. Oh, the stars and the... See, the, they're the knight of sword again. Somebody coming in. Y'all are ending up a cycle. And there's your star card again. Aquarius energy. Queen of wands. Sitting in your power. Passionate. Not looking back. You know, someone's coming towards you, but you're not looking... You're not even looking... Like someone's coming in to communicate with you. They're coming in fast. Some communication is coming in fast. Some of you may be getting some communication. Uh, something in uh, email, letter, or something that puts you in the, puts you in the, uh, in the spotlight where the light is shown on you. Okay. People are starting to see you for who you are, Taurus. Recognize your gifts. I mean, you're even recognizing your own wish and gifts. Look at there, sitting there like the Queen of Wands, very passionate, attractive. Like you're in a magnetic, in a magnetic uh, energy right now, feminine energy, where you can attract anything you want. You can create anything you want right now, which is why the magician was shown, and then which is why Sagittarius and the second house and the ninth house come in, and those two together are eleven. So you got eleven. So divine secrecy with the stars, with the cosmos. Okay, you're even, uh, some of you Tauruses are even intuitive, you know, empath. Y'all can feel, y'all can sense, you use your senses. Most Tauruses do. Uh, if they're awakened and they're aware and they're, they're conscious of their negative and positive energy, you're very intuitive, okay? You're into healing. You're into transparency and clarity, keeping the balance, health. Okay. And you got your wand. Queen energy. Queen, feminine energy. A balance of feminine energy. Not being abusive with it. But sitting in your power. Ooh, look at y'all. Look at y'all. Look at y'all. Just look at y'all, Tauruses. Look at y'all. Be sure to go to my YouTube channel, Comedic Arts Yoga and Reiki Tarot, and subscribe. Hit that like button and hit that notification bell. 
and also let me know if it resonates with you this will of course be on my youtube channel of course uh this is a live from facebook and also the star card is like a wish fulfillment it's like uh having faith or keeping your hope or remembering your wish fulfillment you know like i say keep hope alive from jesse jackson keep hope alive that's what it's about it's about you not giving up on your wish fulfillment whatever your wish is having that faith and that inspiration uh to keep to keep hoping for it don't give up no matter what it looks like things you may not see if things are moving or is going as fast as you would like but things are moving in the background because you had the high priestess you had the star card okay come out you had the emperor come out what else did you have come out the lovers come out so you got a commitment uh you got balance of female and masculine energy with the lovers card being gemini because they're twins so that's the opposite and the uh positive the, the positive of negative and positive some of you guys might be dealing with a twin flame some of you guys might be dealing with your other aspect of yourself your 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 inner work your dark shadow work you know um bringing that into balance it you it it's some different narratives going on here with tauruses uh that i'm picking up on find whichever one that resonates with you <laughs> But if it don't, then it don't. That's fine. You don't have to do it. Okay, I'm getting ready to do an Aries bonus. So, y'all know what your girls say. Peace, love, and light. That was for you, Taurus. This is July 16, 2020. Peace, love, and harmony. Because if you got peace, love, and harmony in here, you'll have peace, love, and harmony in the world. Peace, love, and harmony, Tauruses.